when a laser light of a particular frequency say that of a green light is passed through this substance along with the green light some new color still gets scattered out and this is called Raman effect let's understand how exactly this happens see when a molecule is placed in an electric field the electron cloud gets closer towards the positive end this induces a dipole which is charges separated over a distance it can be shown by this equation where alpha tells you how easily the electron cloud can get distorted now think of the electron cloud of the molecule as this balloon since light has an oscillating electric field due to which its induced dipole moment periodically changes and soon enough it comes to rest and light of the same frequency gets scattered out however when the molecule is internally vibrating or rotating then its electron cloud is periodically distorted and then when the light hits it the oscillating dipole will have superimposed upon it this rotational or vibrational motion this leads to emittance of three different kinds of light one with the exact same frequency the other two with a higher or lower frequency than that of the original light and this explains Raman effect this can be shown mathematically as such the three terms correspond to the three types of light emitted by the molecule okay let's try to understand this a bit more intuitively for that we need some basketballs there are certain allowed energy levels for both rotation and vibration of a molecule if our molecule is initially rotating and then the light hits it it takes up the energy and as it tries to go to a higher stationary state oof it runs out of gas it lands up at a virtual state which is between two stationary states and then it might either come back to its original state or a bit higher or lower where it releases different frequencies of light and these new lights are called Raman lines and interestingly different molecules emit completely different Raman lines which helps us to identify them this is used in Raman spectroscopy as in here we'll use a mobile Raman spectrometer to find out what's inside our sample and then we'll analyze our data and it turns out <gasps> this technique can even help us to discover counterfeit drugs to study biological tissues biominerals and to even identify substances dissolved in water so remember there might be something hidden in what you're observing